All right. It was beautiful out there today. It I was, was outside for most of the day. I feel like I could have just walked for hours because it was so sunny and nice. <laughs> yes, it was so stunning. So it felt colder than February this morning with a low temperature as we started out the day right around 23 degrees. But by the afternoon, it was well above average. In fact, 13 degrees above average for our official high temperature of 60 degrees. Man, oh man, what a nice afternoon though after that chilly start. Temperatures right now are checking in in the 40s and 50s. It is 51 degrees at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport. We're in the mid 40s in Annapolis, right around 46 in Bel Air. 48 degrees in Westminster and we're checking in in the 40s on the eastern shore 46 degrees in Easton. It's 43 degrees this evening in Cambridge mid 50s though out in Western Maryland. How about that? Our wind direction is coming in out of the south. So that's helping in pump in some of that warm air and it's here to stay for another couple of days, but we will have some big changes heading our way and it's going to be feeling like January before you know it. And of course, you know, we'll talk about that. High pressure is in control for now. It's located just off the coast of the Carolinas. Notice the rain out to our west and also the increase in cloud cover making its way into portions of the Ohio Valley. That's going to try to make its way into our region overnight, but we'll average out mostly clear and then clouds will increase out ahead of this system as we head throughout the day on Monday. So here comes the system I anticipate will stay dry throughout the entire day, but by about eight, nine o'clock, that's when we'll start to see a rain moving into the region as it arrives Monday night. It'll be around on Tuesday, so you'll need the rain gear for uh, Tuesday through the afternoon and evening. A couple of showers lingering around on Wednesday and the behind the secondary front, it is going to get much colder as we head into the latter part of the week. We'll show you a look at that temperature swing, those temperature uh, changes as we drop down with highs only in the 40s by the latter part of this week. So 55 on Wednesday, we drop down to 46 on Thursday and 43 degrees on Friday. Talk about roller coaster ride of temperatures. That's what we're going to be dealing with. Now overnight, it's not going to be as cold as what we dealt with last night. We'll drop to around 30 degrees in Baltimore, 35 for the overnight low temperature in Annapolis. Then tomorrow, we'll look for a high around 59. We'll start out mostly sunny, but clouds will increase high in fashion throughout the afternoon, and then we'll end up being about mostly cloudy as we head uh, into tomorrow evening. I want to show you a look at that seven day forecast again, rainy weather in the forecast on Tuesday a couple of showers Wednesday afternoon, then it's going to feel rather cold Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Next weekend's not going to feel as lovely as it did this weekend, but at least we'll have the sunshine once again. You know, I probably saw 50 people running at Patterson Park, and I bet when they see that seven day, they're glad they got out today. 50, that's a lot. I thought I saw much more than that. I guess I just saw one section of the park. <laughs> All right.